Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you not following along with my Final Fantasy X live streams, I have recently just got past the Bavel Cloister of Trials. You know, every Final Fantasy game has at least one frustrating dungeon or aspect to it that you really have to motivate yourself to push through. And for me, at least in terms of story progression for Final Fantasy X, this is it. The Cloister of Trials in Bavel are a bit of a nightmare for several reasons. So what I've done is edited down a load of the footage that I took from the live stream just to create a nice, beautiful, consistent walkthrough for you guys so that if you follow along, if you're struggling with this one, you should be able to get through without too much trouble. So I hope that it helps you. I really do. But if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like and check me out on Twitter as well at Fuzzfinger01. I've been posting updates over there recently as well. Here we go. Starting off with this dungeon then, there isn't actually a whole lot we can do apart from step forward and then push this pedestal here into the floor where the glyph is situated. That will create our first platform. Remember we're going to be pushing pedestals in order to create these platforms that we can then traverse the dungeon on. This will bring us down into the trials proper and this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. So once we've arrived at our destination, we're going to be placed on this green flashing glyph. This is one of our directional glyphs and this sort of introduces us to the system. There's not a whole lot we can do with this one apart from confirm the single direction and head forward. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we need to not press anything as we go past this first green glyph here on the floor that you can see. And we need to catch this second glyph to head over to the left. Once you're at the left pedestal, wait here whilst I explain for a moment what happens if you chose the wrong direction. This is going to happen to you multiple times throughout the dungeon. As you can see here on my first attempt, I tapped the confirm button as the arrow is facing to the right and we didn't want to go over to this side immediately. Now, there is an element of luck involved where the arrow is pointing once you reach it, which is why this is going to happen. However, the solution is simple whenever this happens to you throughout this dungeon. Simply use the pedestal you have access to to create another platform on the pathway and then ride this platform along the pathway to the very end. And when you reach the end, Tidus is going to be teleported back to the start of that area that you're in so that you can try again. And you can do this as many times as you need to until you get Tidus going the correct direction. Now that we are all together on the correct platform, what we're going to do is take the sphere out of the wall over there. Now we need to take this sphere over to the right platform. Okay, that's a platform you may have gone to a moment ago by mistake. We actually do need to go there now. So we're going to use the pedestal again to create our moving platform to stand on. This time we're just going to be holding the sphere the whole way. Okay, so the platform's going to take us to the end again first, and then it's going to reset us back to the start of this area, only we will still be holding that sphere, which is what we want to be doing. Now, again, we're going to skip past this first green glyph, and we're going to catch the second green glyph, or at least attempt to, whilst it's facing over to the right here. And now we are on the right platform, glyph in hand. We can place this glyph into the recess in the wall. This is actually going to rebuild a missing piece of the walkway, or the pathway rather. And with that in place, we can then move to the next part of the dungeon. So we will create a platform as usual. Again, our platform will take us to the end of this particular path, which will put us back to the start once more. Now, only this time, what we want to do is use the first green glyph. And we want to catch this whilst it is facing to the right. And the next one's a bit annoying. The next green glyph that we just pre uh, built a moment ago has three directions. We want to catch it going straight forwards. Unfortunately, as you can see, I caught it to the left. So I'll keep this in the edit in case you do the same. But just as I showed you before, this will take us to the end and teleport us back, this time to the start of the middle section. So now I will want to catch it facing to the right.
And this will take us right to the very end of this particular pathway where we have another sphere. And this sphere is going to become our companion for the next part of our journey. Spoiler alert, don't get too attached to it. Now we're going to push the pedestal back to create our next platform to traverse back along the pathway. And here we get a beautiful shot of Tidus's hooter. As you can see, he's very proud of his single giant nostril. Now the next arrow here is a little bit easier because we stay in place, so we have as much time as we need to tap the right direction. And we're going to go past the next two arrows. We're aiming for the final one. And we need to head over to the right here, of course. And this is where we say goodbye to our beautiful little sphere. It's been with us through thick and thin. But now we're going to dump it in this recess here. And that's actually going to create a walkway. Yes, a walkway. One in which we can walk on. But we're not going to. Not yet, anyway. Instead, we're going to use the pedestal to create our platform. So that walkway we created actually gives us access to another recess, but we need to fill that recess with a glyph sphere. And the way we get our glyph sphere is by heading back along the middle pathway here. And on our middle pathway, we want to go past the first of the three green glyphs. And we want to use the second as it's pointed to the right here. And this will give us access to the glyph sphere, which you can see in the recess on the wall over there. So now we want to take this glyph sphere over to that walkway we just created a moment ago. So we'll use our trusty pedestal here to create the platform to take us there. We have to go right here, and then we want to catch this next arrow here once it's facing to the right. And that will take us back. Back to that walkway. Right, so now we're back here with the glyph sphere. We can pop this into the recess. And that will actually lead us to our destruction sphere for this particular trials. We're making good progress here, guys, so keep it up. Yeah, Destruction Sphere in hand, we're ready to move on to the next part of the dungeon. So, we'll create our platform once more. Now, with the Destruction Sphere in hand, we're going to head back to the start of this middle section, and we want to go back to the area with the Glyph Sphere that we removed a little bit earlier on. So, if you remember, that's not the first of these three green arrows on the floor that we go past, but the second just up here. So, catch that as it's heading over to the right. And then you can see the recess that the Glyph Sphere was in earlier. Yeah, placing the Destruction Sphere in this is what's going to allow us to progress and to also access the secret item. Yeah, the optional item is something you get in every Trials Dungeon. And they're very important to grab because you actually unlock an Aeon later on if you get all six from all the Trials. So, pedestal back down, create the platform. You know the routine by now, I'm sure. We want to head over to the area just up here on the right, at the end of this middle section. And we want to grab the Bavau Sphere. Now you may have noticed up until this point there has been one platform in this middle part of the Trials that we have been neglecting up until this moment. Well, we are going to access that now. So we'll create our platform once more. Right, and the platform that we want next is the first of the three green glyphs as we head down this middle section. 
I know there's a lot of backtracking and going along the same pathways, but it gets us through it in the end. And we've unlocked everything we need to unlock now to complete this place at last. Right, so we'll get the pedestal spawn. Immediately we're going to just push this over to the other side. And we've got a bit of a fun journey now. As we whiz all over the place. There's one of the glyphs we unlocked. This will all happen automatically. And now we're in the final part of the dungeon. It's pretty much a formality, this final bit. But just be careful not to run over to the right hand side too much. Otherwise you'll end up exiting the dungeon before you've managed to grab the items. So we're going to start by sticking the Bavel Sphere into this recess here. That's going to activate this final pathway here. Just a short one, but you can see that there is a chest. And we will need the uh, chest here, which is an HP Sphere. And once that's been cleared, we can stand on the glyph that the chest was guarding. And that will give us the pedestal to create the final platform. This is the optional part, of course. But the optional item is a Night Lance. So, a fairly decent weapon for Kimari. I think it has a bunch of attack stats on it. Uh, once you've looted that, then Tidus will automatically board the platform to head back over to the other side again. And then you're done, guys. Congratulations if you made it this far. All you need to do now is head over to the right to exit. Well done. I hope that's been helpful then, folks. I'll tell you, I did not enjoy making this video at all. Hopefully you couldn't tell by watching, but there was so much editing involved. My editing software timeline was just a complete mess. It really was. Trying to get all the different takes and that together just to create a smooth and hopefully easy to follow little walkthrough video was a complete nightmare, I'm going to be honest. But if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And check out the Final Fantasy X live streams if you haven't already. Always like it when you guys stop by to say hello. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.